This will demonstrate the PowerProbe Pro Series Maestro on the PowerProbe demo board. Now, hopefully you watched the PowerProbe 4 video. Um, the Maestro is very similar to the PowerProbe 4. A lot, in fact, most of the same functions. The Maestro has a couple more and a couple of great surprises. So you see on the Maestro, we've got a color screen now. Um, there are mode selections at the bottom and you can use these buttons to move your way around. There's VDC mode, there's your ohm meter mode. There's your voltage AC, there's your peak to peak AC voltage. There's your frequency and pulse width and we've added duty cycle. Duty cycle was not, duty percentage was not in the Power Probe 4. And you can come back to your home screen. And you'll see those were your multimeter modes. This is your fuel injector test mode. Um, and, and those are the same readings that are, this is your fuel injector test mode. You'll see the same readings that were in the Power Probe 4. Injector on time, ground from the computer or ECM, uh, supply supply voltage to the injector and inductive kit voltage go back to home you'll also see there is easy learning similar to what is in the power probe 3 easy and guided diagnostics also similar to what's in the power probe e 3 easy and you also notice there is easy learning and guided diagnostics very similar to what is in the Power Probe 3 EZ. But here's the big surprise. Uh, first surprise? No. Oh. But here's the big surprises. Uh, in most of the modes, let's go to an AC mode and turn on our AC signal generator. Now, let's go to an AC voltage. You'll see it displays a number. You've got your min and your max on the left-hand side. We can give it a little more voltage. How's that? But here's the, oops, or we can go to peak to peak voltage or to Hertz and frequency. And it displays all displays numbers very similar to what you saw in the Power Probe 4. What's unique now is if you see an arrow in the upper left hand corner of the display, like you can see on here, that means by pressing the up arrow, you will switch to what's called trace mode. Now, when you probe the circuit, it may be very hard for you to see here, but you're getting a waveform of that signal. So the Maestro gives you the ability, it's a graphing function that actually lets you observe the signal or waveform. That mode is available in Hertz frequency, in voltage AC, um, it is in resistance, and DC voltage. Now just to illustrate the DC voltage. Oh, in fact, let's make this even here. Stop. So the Maestro has the ability to show waveforms or voltage over time graphing. And now the other big difference between the Maestro and the Power Probe 4. Let's go to our home screen. Notice this button here, it says pair on it. Now this gives you the ability to pair the tool with uh, iOS or Android devices, tablets, phones, and let's fire this up.
Now we have the ability to pair the Power Probe Maestro with iOS or Android devices, tablets or phones. And we'll simply hit the pair button on the tool. There the pair tool tab came up. And we'll say OK. We'll select multimeter and we want to display tool data. So now you'll see that everything that happens on the screen. So now you'll see that everything that happens on the screen of the Maestro will display on your tablet or phone, including your graphing modes. So let's, let's see one of those. We're in the DC mode. Oops. Including the graphing modes. Let's display one. We're, oh God, that's bad. Including the graphing modes. So let's display one. So let's show you how that will display. Here's your DC volt voltmeter mode. You have battery voltage displayed on the bottom, just like you do on the tool screen. You have min and max on the, on the side, just like on the tool screen. Tool still operates the same way. But now you have readings and you can capture those readings here if, if need be. Uh, now let's switch this to trace mode and we'll go to this point with the adjustable voltage and now graphing may not seem important on a DC voltage because if things are normal you're pretty much going to see a flat line like this all the time but if there's any kind of dropout of voltage whoop, or increase in voltage, it's gonna see that. It's graphing it both on the screen of the tool and matching that on the app. Particularly like a point like this where it might just be an intermittent glitch. Let me turn the speaker off. Particularly on a point where it may be a really intermittent glitch. see that drop out even though I'm going pretty fast with that switch. Next on the menu is the ohm meter mode which will display resistance from ground to tip or from the ground lead to tip. This should be zero. And whatever is displayed on the screen of the tool will be displayed in the app. So the Power Pro Pro Series Maestro is much like the Power Pro 4 with the ability to transfer readings to an external app via Bluetooth where those readings can be stored or captured for, for later use and the ability to display waveforms. 